Hi, welcome. This is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Aquarian Sun Moon Rising Sign. I want to say thank you for being here. This is the first week of April, and it is the week of the devil. Now, um, you are water signs, and this energy for the week of the devil is here. So be aware of the situations around you. Okay, be very much aware. So um, I want to say thank you for being here. Please go check out the month of readings. The love readings are coming up soon. And first, we got to do a week to see what's coming up for the ace of the first of April until the seventh of April. So what's coming up for the Aquarians? We have the energy of strong foundations. Some of you Aquarians. Then we have the energy of the world. Then we have the energy of the devil, and that is the energy for the week. So be aware of that. We are dealing with the situation with the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles and the Tower. Okay. So, what else is coming out? The key, the key is the message that is coming up. Now, there's a situation at home, or maybe a situation that has to do with your own or your work. Um, an ending is going to come in, but a new, a, a, a positive new beginning is going to be coming up. So it's as if you could be um, deciding to move in um, in the coming week. Energy of the devil. And the energy of the devil is the center, is the crowning of your week. And then we have the Queen of Cups. So whoever this Queen of Cups is um, could be coming in um, to help you. Okay, so whatever is transpiring is the Pisces Cancer Scorpion. Oh, could become. There is really an energy that is coming up here. Hey, so close this year. I'm seeing the energy of the tower it has to do with the king of the king of coins. So we're definitely going to be looking to see what is this energy of the tower with the spring of coins. The weekend is fire and hurt that is coming up. Definitely fire and hurt that is coming up. Now, what I'm seeing is that there was a conflict and now the conflict is over. Um, you guys come in this week, like the conflict was in the weekend and now the conflict is over. And the conflict is over and some of you are thinking about what is the next move, okay? Because it's as if some ending but there is a there is a situation that there is someone that you need to be aware of. You could be turning your back on the Queen of Cups, whoever, whoever, this could be a mother figure, a mother person. But what I'm seeing here is that the energy of uh, some of you are planning. There, there was a conflict either at home or either at work there was a conflict and some of you decide to plan something because there's an there's an energy that is playing here but you're going to be receiving help you're definitely going to be receiving help um, for who is dealing with a negative energy now I'm seeing that some of you are going to decide to turn your back on a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person yeah, you're you're deciding to turn your back on this person. I'm seeing you. You're taking a rest. You're you know, you're you're, you're resting. You're finding inner peace. You're trying to find balance, especially with your financial situation, um, in this week, and it's going to be okay because um, you need to just focus and try to figure out a way how you could resolve a situation. Whoever this lady is, the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, and you're deciding to turn your back on this person, and you're going to be receiving some money. 
whatever the situation is, is that you decide to turn your back on this person because some money is going to be coming through. There's definitely help that is going to be coming in. And she could be deciding to help you. But I'm seeing the energy of um, the tower, which is here. And with the energy of the, the tower against the king of pentacles. Now, who is this um, king of pentacles? Whoever this king of pentacles is, the tower is coming, but um, money is going to be coming up. So there is going to be um, help. Definitely help is going to be coming in for some of you in this um, in this week. So it's good, but there is definitely a situation. Some of you are really tired. You need to rest. Definitely, the energy of number four is here. Some of you, you know, there was there was you know you have a strong foundation. There was something that has transpired, and this is ending. And you're moving forward, but you're moving forward. But this energy that is here of the devil that that's that's a strange um energy that is here so you need to be um and it could be just sex some of you are just thinking about sex or yeah um some of you could be connecting um with an older woman and this woman is going to be financially supporting you that's what is um, coming out. Some of you are thinking, how am I going to, you know, seduce this lady? Tired of whoever this lady is and however she is in your life. Because the first half of the week is so, it's just as if something has ended and some of you are, are thinking um, your, your way forward. But there is a lot of sexual feelings in this week where a lot of you are thinking, and some of you are going to be receiving help financially which is really definite some of you are going to be really receiving help financially now i'm not sure what has happened but whatever the the conflict was it's um it's going to be over especially if you have conflicts with a taurus virgo or um a taurus virgo or a capricorn person this conflict is going to be over Money is definitely coming um, to some of you. Whatever the situation is, money is definitely. The weekend is um, the weekend. Some of you are going to be dealing with situations, and it could be with the ending of a situation. And some of you are. Um, it's as if um, the the King of Pentacles is just going to be um, exiting your life. However, that comes up for you. This is what could be happening. It's a week of a lot of you um, finding and looking inwards, whatever is happening. Okay. So let's see what's happening for you, Aquarians, because definitely help is going to be coming through. And what I'm seeing is that there's a situation that has ended and a new start is about to begin, and you're going to be receiving help. Um, whatever some of you are looking for something new um you could be in a relationship with a pisces cancer scorpion or it could be your mom and you're deciding and planning um for to look for something new so that could be happening okay now there's two cards here card one and card two and I, as usual you have to choose the card now the first card that we have is the uh, wow there is really deception and envy. It could be coming from you or it could be coming from someone else, but the energy of the devil is here. And this energy of the devil came up as love, lust. But there's some deception and envy and it could be coming from you or from someone who's sending it to you, okay? Then we have the energy of the um, financial and movement change. Okay, so what this means when this comes up, and this is, um, this is, I love this text so much. When this energy comes up, if you have financial struggles or that sort of a situation, whatever financial situation um, that was going in your life, uh, it's, it's now going to be changing. Okay, so if you, if you were a financial unstable or that sort of a thing, it is now going to be changing. 
as you come to the end of the week and this is going to be good okay so whatever the financial stability um of instability was it's not now going to be changing as you come to the end of the month okay ladies and gentlemen i'm wishing you a really wonderful week now we stay on to next time right remember the monthly readings are out so pick those up and share 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 and cross watch namaste